Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today we are checking out another brand new roguelike that officially launched uh, probably about a week and a half ago uh, by the time that you're watching this video. Uh, and it seems like it's a bullet heaven game, uh, but with some very interesting mechanics of the game getting a lot harder and having a lot more depth the more you play it. So it seems like there's some really cool baked in uh, progression and stuff like that in terms of difficulty and a lot of stuff like that. Uh, and this is a sponsored video. I uh, always like staying transparent. Um, you know, I only play or do sponsored games that either look really promising or look really good in general. This is one of those games, but I do just want to stay transparent to let you guys know. Uh, but yeah, we're going to just play it, give my honest first impressions of the game, uh, and to jump into it. So we have a save profile here, and uh, welcome to the tutorial. Oh, I like this cell shaded pixel art. Move around, okay. We do have a controller here. Let's see, shoot projectile. Okay, no, if we're actually, yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead and use a keyboard and mouse here for this. And we can dash. Uh, you have iframes when you're dashing, apparently. Cast your ultimate with Q. The blue bar ultimate uh, indicates ultimate cooldown. So what is the blue bar? Oh, okay. Oh, so we have some sort of portal here. Okay. I really like this. The uh, kill enemies to level up. Makes sense. I like the, like, cell shaded pixel art, honestly. I like that the stats are just on the left, right? Reminds me of uh, Binding of Isaac here. This art style is really cool, actually. Oh, Lord. The black hole's pretty cool. So we level up. So upgrade your stats every time you level up. And so we can see what the symbols mean on the left. So this would be two ultimate, one movement speed. This would just be uh, more projectiles. This would be more damage. So let's get a bunch of pro uh, maybe more projectiles. I don't know. So I'm assuming it doesn't do anything until we get up to two. Oh, no. Okay, so sometimes it's two. That's, that's a cool way to do it. That's a cool way to do it here. Uh, find the, follow the yellow to the chest. Okay, so what is this? So, more projectiles or more luck, ultimate, and explosion. Okay, I'll take that one, even though I was wanting projectiles here. So yeah, let's go to the yellow chest here. So it seems so far to just be a very high quality uh, bullet heaven. But I think it, it the, the, there's apparently a lot of depth once you actually like beat the game is what I've been told. So range enjoyer, gain 15 range. Each time you dash, restore health or 100% damage, but you can no longer aim up and down. Okay. So essences are powerful upgrades. They can spawn in chess. Cool. I'm glad there's more than just stats. Um, we'll do dash drain just so there's a way for us to heal. Right? Music's pretty cool too. Uh, more explosion, more ultimate. We'll take some damage. We'll take some damage. Kill the remaining enemies. You can toggle the options menu. We'll just take a quick look at what the options might look like. Okay, there is no options. I don't think. Or I guess those were the options. I just... I don't know why. I'm just such a PC gamer. I just always instinctively, like, want to, like, you know, mess with all the video settings, even though I don't really need to. Uh, more, that's a lot of health. Movement speed, more damage. We'll just say more damage. That was a lot of health, though. I wonder if that was the play. There's another yellow chest that we want to get to. But the fact that there's an ability that you're doing constantly, too, does give you a little bit more. And you are aiming as well, right? In a direction almost like Binding of Isaac, so it's not just like a full auto-aim thing like a bullet heaven. Or a lot of the bullet heavens. Projectiles gain additional damage. The more time they travel, when you stop shooting, all active projectiles can explode. Or luck gives you a chance to increase damage when an enemy is killed. Okay, we'll take that. Wait. Oh, we can only have one S. Oh. So I don't know what that means. I don't know how we unlock that. So we can only have one chest essence. Apparently. So I wonder if that's meta progression or what. Elite enemies have an orange border. Defeat the final wave. Okay, so these are all elites. Um, what is that? That's crit chance, explosion, explosion. Okay. I definitely hope that we can very quickly get more essences at once. Which I imagine you will. So we got one more guy to kill. And, you know, I, th I think also eventually we can get new uh, actual uh, croc crocodile characters and stuff. We'll take luck, because I guess luck had a chance to do damage. But I think this is just the tutorial, though. So victory, tutorial complete, back to hub here. So we can... Ooh, this is cool. Choose characters. There's all these different characters to unlock here. 
I don't know how to unlock them. But that's cool. You got a game journal over here. That's just stats. Um, these are all of the essences that we can get. So a lot more to unlock here. And then... Okay. Oh, so there's an achievement thing. Hey, so we actually got something like Vampire Survivors. I like this. So unlock a new difficulty. Complete these achievements to unlock new things. Beat Toxic Sewers. Beat Ice Runes. Beat Ancient Crypt. At high difficulties with certain amount of stats. I like that. I always talk about loving like achievement things and unlock things like that. That is... I, I like that. So, okay. Toxic Sewers. Um, we cannot make the game harder yet. Which makes sense. Um, okay, so we just gotta beat the game. I don't know what beating the game is like. But we're in an actual run. Looks like we have to tip elite enemies reward five completion points instead of one. So it looks like we have to kill a thousand enemies. It looks like that is the uh, that is the objective here. So we're in the game for realsies now. Um, okay, so damage and movement speed. Um, yeah, we'll do damage and movement speed. Movement speed seems like it'd be pretty good to get early on. Got some new music as well. Uh, we'll, we'll take uh, luck. I can see luck being cool early on too. And yeah, our um, I think our ultimate uh, is taking a lot longer to re uh, respawn than in the tutorial. Makes sense. So we want to be a little bit more careful with how we use it. Uh, so this is range and explosions ultimate. I'm gonna just get a bunch of movement speed. I probably won't have to worry about movement speed for a while now. We've already killed 32 out of 1,000. I want to... Now, since I know the ultimates... Oh, jeez, dude. What the... I want to line up a really good uh, thing here. Oh. I'll do more luck. There's a chest. Okay, here we go. Took a little bit of damage. It's okay. Oh, dude. That freaking zombie or whatever. Oh, and there's traps on the side. I also like that you just get... Exp you don't have to pick up the experience. Okay, we'll get uh, more attack speed. And uh, this is more projectiles. Actually, let's do attack speed and explosions. Music's pretty good, honestly. Oh, crap. Oh, and, oh my god, we're already about to die, dude. Let's not do that. Um, okay, 60 health. That's a lot of health. And it heals you as well, which is nice. Wait a minute, I wonder if the amount that it heals you, it doesn't give you in max HP. I think that might be how it works, which is actually pretty cool. So if you have a lot of health, it will increase your max health that much. But if you don't, it'll heal you. I think that's how that works. That's pretty cool if that's how that works. Um, so let's, let's test it here, because this is projectile, poten potentially more projectiles. Yeah, I think it is. We just gained uh, 20 max HP because of that. Okay. So we're, we're about to kill 100. We're almost one tenth of the way there. There's a chest over here. It's look like I wonder if we're only gonna be able to have one at a time for the whole first game. Oh, this is just a stat, I guess. Um, range. We'll just do damage. That's a lot of damage. So maybe only sometimes it's that. Okay, that damage helps a lot. Get a good ult. That is gonna be a good ultimate here for us. Uh, luck and explosion, sure. I think those X's are the explosions. A little bit hard to dodge, like the acid pools. Oh crap. Or maybe it's not. Maybe there's a separate explosion thing. I don't know. I really like this art style, though. I don't know. It reminds me of like a very distinctive. Oh jeez, dude. Okay, we took a lot of it. We're taking a lot of damage here. Um. Luck, range, and attack speed, why not? Probably gonna want some health at some point. We killed 140 out of 1,000. These guys are fast. And the elites, it said it counts for five. So more damage and health, yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, and it just heals you. So we didn't get max health there. It just healed us. I really like that. That is a very clever way to do health. I'm sure it's not the first game to do that, but that's very clever. I like that. Okay, touching a wall gives you double attack speed and range. Spot wizard, gain up to 100 ultimate over five seconds while standing still. 
or Drain Dash. I don't know. Let's take Drain Dash. It looks like you have to be on the higher difficulty to have more of the essences. Might replace that, I don't know. This guy's ultimate's pretty good, though. Oh, no, the X is the ultimate. Okay, we'll take the luck. I don't know what... it. Yeah, I probably should have looked a little bit more at when it was telling me in depth what all the stats are. There's a couple... Quite, like, I want to know exactly what luck does. I want to know what ultimate does. Is it upping the damage or is it just upping the cooldown? Right, couple couple questions that need to be answered. Um, so we're at 200 out of 1,000. We're one-fifth of the way there. Another chest. Okay, this is going to be a good ultimate here. Um, more health and luck. Yeah, we'll do that. So this is going to give us more max HP. That's a really cool way to do it. Yeah, honestly, okay, our range is... I've been ignoring range, but now I'm noticing our range needs to be better. Because also, I don't know if it has pierce. I don't know. Everything might by default pierce everything. I don't know. So movement speed, movement speed, and damage. Uh, damage and luck. We'll get a little bit of movement speed and damage. Movement speed's always going to be good in these types of games. Always going to be good. A lot of enemies... Okay, yeah, this is range. Range and damage we'll go for. Yeah, I think everything by default pierces everything, which makes range a l very important. Because it looks like everything's piercing, yeah. So range seems very good, now that I know everything just pierces. Nice, we're almost to 300. I don't know if this is because of luck we get to pick more. Uh, luck and explosion... Sure. We got some more. It looks like when they explode, though, it stops piercing, obviously. Which is okay. The chest we're trying to get. Uh, more health, more, move more movement speed. I'll go health. I, I won't have to worry about my health for a while, probably. It's honestly better getting stats from those than the essences because we can only have one. This is going to be a good black hole. Black hole, go! Uh, we've got 300. Okay, what is it? So more projectiles, more attack speed, and more damage. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, seem to be a lot stronger now with that. Oh, geez. Taking a lot of damage. Sound effects are very silly. So we are at 325 out of 1,000. Crit chance. No, projectiles and attack speed, sure. I would love to try to get our projectiles to actually two, so we just always have uh, two projectiles. I like the way it does it. Like, if you have, like, 1.3, it's, like, a small chance to... Or not, I was Maybe it's a chance, I don't know. Attack speed and projectiles, yep. So more of these are going to be double. Dude, we're getting strong here. 360. Okay, we're going to get a good old ultimate. Um, yeah, we'll just do luck and projectiles. I want to get the projectiles at two. I want a guaranteed two projectiles every time. Glad our movement speed is very good. And I, I honestly, range I need to focus more on. Um, so range and movement speed, sure. Really kind of want to do more of our ultimate, but I don't know. I'm kind of just choosing to ignore it this time. Okay, gain 20 ultimate. Dashing shoots projectiles in all directions. I'm going to take that over the healing. I forgot I even had that, so... Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. That's really good. Oh, my gosh. Uh, more range. Dude, that's insane. Yeah, I kind of forgot I had the dash, to be honest. Which it would have been healing me the whole time. That's crazy. More range and attack speed. Because, yeah, that gives us iframes. Yeah, that's... Okay, that's a game changer. More range, attack speed, and projectiles. Yep. So we're at 2.1 now. So sometimes we're actually going to be shooting three now. Um, more attack speed and health because we're getting a little bit low. So that just healed us there. But now that I know I... Oh, my gosh, dude. That dash thing's sick. That dash thing is sick. Especially with us investing in the projectile. So at this point, we just keep committing to that, right? 
Um, that's a lot of crit chance. 10? But I'm gonna do no crit. I'm gonna... I'll do this, actually. Luck, explosion, and a little bit of movement speed. So we're at 545 out of 1,000. Oh, geez. Taking some damage. Um, more range and damage and health, sure. Range is huge. Though the explosion seems to somewhat be... Um, you know. But I think the explosions are worth it enough. Um, yeah, more... More projectiles. So we're gonna be doing triple shots sometimes. I took so much damage in that poison. Dude, it's starting to get crazy. Game's starting to get a little bit hard. I'm at 624 out of 1,000. More projectile speed and projectiles. Sure. I I'm really committing to this bit here. Because it seems to be working and it's very satisfying, so... More range. I think we're good on range now. Now I think we want to commit to all the other projectile stats. Not explosion though, so we'll do maybe focus a little bit of crit now. Um yeah, attack speed. Oh, I forgot I had my ultimate. I've been doing dashing so much I forgot I had my ultimate. Um more more attack speed. There's a chest over here. We're at 782 out of 1,000. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, explosion and projectiles, whatever. I don't even know where I am. Dude, we are very strong. Um, projectiles and range, sure. Now I think if we up damage, it's gonna go crazy. Crit. I'll do crit here, because that's inherently damage. So we're at 840 out of 1,000. Uh, dude, honestly, this is this is one of the first spawn, especially once we know how the depth works, this is one of the first sponsored games where I'm like, man, I could see this being a series. Like, beyond, like, you know, even if they don't, like, pay me anymore, like... Honestly, I'm, I'm vibing. This is a fun game. We're upping our crit even more. 925, so we're about to win. Um, more projectiles and movement speed. Did that dash shoot your projectiles. Amazing. More uh, attack speed. Yeah, depending on the depth of this, which from what I've told, oh nice, tons of damage. It's a big part of everything. Uh, every time an enemy dies, restore an HP. No, 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 I'm not, I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing. This dash thing's insane. We gotta kill ten more enemies here. And then is there gonna be a boss or something? Okay, defeat the final wave. So there's some sort of behemoth here. Gotten him down to about fifth of his health. About a, or three fourths of his health. About half of his health. We're just gonna keep dashing and just doing so much damage. Get out of here. Oh jeez, oh jeez, let's not throw at the end. Let's not throw at the end here. Let's not throw at the end, there we go. We did it. Beat the toxic sewers. So we've unlocked a skull or whatever. We also unlocked an active essence. So we've unlocked a new difficulty, which unlocked a new character. So see, and so it's like, it's the, the, uh, Hawkeye, we unlocked Hawkeye, beat the game with Croaky. So we've unlocked a lot of stuff there. That was kind of close there at the end. So we unlocked a lot of stuff. Beat the game with 20 or more speed, right? So we're unlocking, is it going to make me look and sh say yes to each of these? Or if I back out, it's still telling me they're new. I don't know how to make them not look new anymore. Uh, whatever. Okay, so let's see now. 
So I want to look at the journal now. So see, so now it's like beat ice runes is one of the next achievements. Uh, beat ancient crypt would unlock someone else. Also beat toxic sewers at a one difficulty. Ice runes at a one difficulty. Okay. So let's go see what the other uh, character is. So now that was Crocky. This is Gummo. Gummo has less damage, less attack speed, but three projectiles to begin with. And his ultimate is a bunch of arrows. Spawn flaming arrows that travel slowly and damage enemies. His ultimate scales. Um, okay, so ultimate scales with ultimate and damage for both of those. And then his is with uh, projectiles. The other guy's is with attack speed. So we're going to use him. Uh, that's pretty sick. Um, so let's also see. Yes, yeah, so ultimate increases ultimate effect and reduces ultimate cooldown. Um, explosion does explosion chance and damage. Range is projectile lifetime, enemy pierce, and stagger. I like that each of these stats are technically multiple stats in one. I like that. So critical increases crit chance and crit damage. Luck is increased the chance to roll better items and chests. Okay. I like this. I like this. The models kind of look like mini Godzilla. They do. They do. Okay. So let's now go do ice runes. And so because we've... Okay. Yeah. So we can't increase the difficulty because we've only played on one. So we're going to go back to difficulty zero on this. That's fine. So ice runes plus one. So it's very much after dashing. Okay, yeah. So this is reminding me quite a lot of... Um, so maybe I focus on ultimate here. Maybe we do that. Um, but this is reminding me a lot of uh, Vampire Survivors in a, in a good way. So projectiles is very much what we want to focus on too. Because uh, apparently our ultimate scales with that. So yeah, maybe we try to do more of a uh, ability thing. So this still just got to kill a thousand. Um, health and actually I'll do range because our range is pretty not great right now, but I like that. Like Pierce is just put into crit, right? Okay. And that's that the ice just makes you slide. Let's see our ultimate some fire arrows. Okay. So we're going to up our ultimate. Oh, but 0.6 is no, I'm going to do 0.6 because, uh, that inherently helps our, uh, scale our ultimate as well. So. Okay, now we're going to do ultimate here. Because, yeah, if we could just ultimate every, like, 10 seconds, that would be pretty sick. But I like... I really like that there's a checklist of, of achievements. That That's how I think is a really... I think Vampire Survivors is so... Po oh, my God, dude. Yo, our health, that, that hurt us a lot. More range and more projectiles. Let's do way more projectiles. We did five at one point in time there. Okay, now we're gonna do more ultimate. Oh my god, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die. We need some health here. Uh, let's do damage. Okay, 40 health, which unfortunately is just gonna heal us. See, we only got uh, nine max HP. I really like how the health mechanic works. And so hopefully we'll keep, uh, you know, we'll get it where our uh, cooldown on our things a lot faster. So there's another chest to get. Dang, dude. Okay, there we go. Use the ultimate. Uh, I'll get some luck here. Oh, movement speed would have probably been nice too. And I like that we don't have to pick up the uh, experience. Bullet Heavens like making you have to pick up the experience. So I like that we don't. 20 crit. Every time an enemy dies, heal. I don't know. We really need damage, but... Yeah, 20 crit seems like it'd be good. Maybe I should have done the heal, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay, ultimate there. I like how it's like this big slow thing too. Okay, we're gonna do, yep, damage and uh, ultimate. Like I said, I kind of want to try to focus on the ultimate. Not normally what I would do with a character like this, but we kind of already did a, you know. I want to do something a little bit different than what we just did. Our cooldowns, we can use it a lot faster now, so that's pretty sick. Get away from me, mister. Get away from me. Okay, here's our ultimate. We're going to use it right there. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm focusing on crit? I don't know. No, I'll do attack speed. Our attack speed's pretty bad. Yeah, how far do those arrows go? Okay, more, more ultimate. Um, yeah, dude, freaking more projectiles. Because that scales our ultimate as well. Yeah, the arrows keep going. 
I wonder if they get scaled by health or just by the ultimate and other things. But yeah, we're able to ultimate a lot more now. Oh, dude. Yeah, okay, focusing on ultimate's kind of cool here. Um, and I will do 40 health here, even though I want to do the projectiles, just to increase our max HP here a little bit. Um, 40 health again. We're not going to have to worry about our health for a while, I think, now with that. So we've killed 251. We're one four, uh, fourth of the way there. Um, yeah, more ultimate. The ultimate. Oh, geez. Maybe we're going to take some damage here. Oh, geez. Uh, yeah, ultimate and uh, projectiles. But, like, I like that crit right ups crit damage and crit chance simplifies things so much. Okay, ultimate down there. That was not the best ultimate, whatever. I'm gonna get some movement speed. We really need better movement speed. Okay, uh, movement speed and more projectiles I'll take. Yeah, having movement speed. Just getting better positions for the ultimate, like bada bing bada boom. That's gonna do so much. Uh, we'll get some more range at this point in time, just a little bit more. Um, yep, more ultimate, dude. <laughs> We're gonna be able to, like, ultimate. Dude, it's charging up so fast. Take some damage here, maybe. No, we didn't. Okay, ultimate. Uh, it's all luck. So, we're getting luck, I suppose. Like, I love that I can just use those arrows and then run away, right? I don't have to worry about, um, okay, yeah. Uh, projectile and attack speed. I like that I don't have to worry about collecting all the experience before it expires, right? Oh, jeez. Took a lot of damage there. We're already about to get our ultimate back here, though. Uh, upgrade the ultimate. Dude, that up ultimate is getting crazy. Okay. So, do we want to lose our crit? Gain plus 20 explosion. After dashing, you gain... No, I'm just going to keep with what we have, unfortunately. I wish you would get, like, some a little bit of XP or something, but whatever. More projectiles here. We have 6.6 .6 projectiles. Ultimate here. So we've killed... Uh, now, we have officially killed 500 out of 1,000. We're halfway there. More damage in projectiles. Yeah, damage is huge. Because I don't think we have a crap ton of damage. We have so many projectiles, right? Um, more projectiles... We're at 7.5 on that stat. Yeah, those arrows, dude. They're so satisfying. Um, yeah, just more crit. More crit chance, more crit damage. I can get behind that. So I think you can see, yeah, it's like they're orange when they're crits. Versus just the normal yellow. Ultimate. I'm gonna try to follow this. Uh, more projectiles. I think I like this character more than the first one. This is really cool. Uh, more projectiles over the crit, right? Is that that boosts the uh, ultimate? And then, yep, just ultimate again. So we're at six uh, twenty-five out of a thousand. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Let's not take a billion damage here. Uh. Whatever, ultimate and luck. Maybe could have done health, but it wouldn't have been max health. Good ultimate there. That was a huge ultimate. That's gonna kill a bunch of people. Do want to keep upping our damage though. Um. Okay, damage plus four. That's huge. Ultimate plus nine. Oh, damage might have been the play though, but I don't know. If we're doing our ultimate. More projectiles is, seems to be the play. More ultimate. Oh, this is nice. So we're at about 750 out of 1,000. Another ultimate. Uh, crit and movement speed. Actually, I'm going to just do movement speed and damage. All right? Damage does so much because we have so many projectiles here. And at this point, we'll just do health. Range could have been good too, but let's make sure we don't throw... Music's pretty decent. 
Pretty good. As long as it doesn't get repetitive, I hope. Uh, more crit, sure. And continuously shoot bullets in random directions. So we would lose all the crit chance. Um, spot wizard is the thing, but I'm going to just... Yeah, let's do this. Continuously shoot projectiles. So we are going to lose the crit chance. But constantly shooting, though. We So we are doing less damage, though. So, okay. Um, damage and crit chance. I'll do that. I'll, I'll build my crit back up over the, the magic. This has definitely got a lot more chaotic, though. <laughs> our ult. Um, more projectiles. Oh, it's already offering me something else. Oh, the whirlwind. No, I'll just skip it. I can't wait until, yeah, when we're on the harder difficulties and we can take multiple of those. But we're at 920 out of 1,000 here. That ultimate should get it for us here. Uh, crit chance. I don't want explosion, though. So we'll just do crit and more health. Because we did take away our crit, and the crit was doing very good for us, so. Um, yep, damage and uh, ultimate. And honestly, normally I don't like when the upgrades are just stat-based, but because this puts so many stat, like, it combines, like, what things are, it's not that bad, right? It's, it's really not that bad. So, okay, here we go. Same boss. I hope that every area doesn't have the same boss. Maybe we're getting unlucky. I don't, I don't know. Definitely going to hope that uh, there's a little bit more variety in bosses. Though that may come with achievements, right? I don't know. Whoa there. Our range is actually not great. We didn't really prioritize our range too much. So Sega gets a little bit longer than last time to fight, but that's okay. Oh, no, no, sir. No, sir. And I think we got it here. Got an upgrade right then. <laughs> Let's go. So we beat ice runes here. We unlock something else. Um, so there's not a new character, I don't think. So beat the game with 50 or more. We unlock something. So this is what I want, right? So, so now beat Ancient Crypt. So I want to... It's going to, what, keep unlocking new areas? But I kind of want to... Yeah, there's a lot of it. I like this, dude. This adds a lot of replayability here. So let's... And it seems like there's actually some hard ones. So let's go ahead and let's go to... Uh... I guess we'll do the new content. We'll do Ancient Crypt. I do want to, at some point in time, do... Uh... A higher difficulty, right? So this is, once again, just got to kill a thousand. There's a lot of spinning blades, though. So that is what's uh, scary here. So we did uh, Ultimate last time. Let's just do damage, dude. Maybe we don't even care about more projectiles, right? Even though that's the character. If we just are happy with the three that we have. Um, movement speed and luck. Because I want to see how different the builds can feel, you know? Attack speed and damage. Oh my god, dude. Those buzz saws hurt a lot. Uh, we'll do luck. I'm, I'm gonna ignore my ultimate for the most part. It's probably not a smart idea. I just, I truly want to see, like, how much replayability this game has, right? Because of the fact that you're only allowed to have one essence to begin with, it does kind of hurt the replayability at the beginning. Uh, I guess we just gotta go health here. Um, but, obviously a big part of this game is the, uh, the difficulties increasing. So, and at that point you can have multiple essences, so... about damage and going fast. Yeah, movement speed definitely gonna be good, especially on this map. We might end up doing a build like that for sure. Uh, more range, I guess. 
could maybe do explosions. But it seems like the explosions... You don't really want to hyper-focus on explosions and then also uh, range. Uh, just damage. Cool. So crit is going to probably be good to find too here. So we've killed 110 out of 1,000. Uh, I'm going to get movement speed. I need a little bit more movement speed. Okay. Gain crit equal to your luck. Oh, let's do that. Crit equal to your luck. So we are obviously going to just focus on taking a bunch of luck now. Luck. There we go. So all the luck we get is also going to our crit. Getting cornered here a little bit. Oh my gosh. Um, so we'll just do, I guess, projectiles, yeah. If we're gonna have to take ultimate, might as well get the one that helps us with projectiles. Uh, more attack speed, sure. Uh, more damage. That's that's a good amount of damage. Good amount of damage right there. That was a good ult as well. Um, range and projectile speed. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't think I need a ton, ton more movement speed. I'll take it at some point. But, um, okay, we're going to go damage. We're going to be a little bit risky. I want the health, but we're going to just go damage here. Luck. Yep, that's a lot of luck, too. That helps with our crit as well. Think that I think we're going to keep that essence on. I think it's going to be hard to... Oh, jeez. Want to replace that. Okay, we are going to need to worry about our health, though, here. Okay, 60 health. Hate to do it. Whatever. I really love the way the health system works, though. There's just a lot of very clever designs. Like, you can tell whoever made this game played a lot of Bullet Heavens and just truly tried to make them as good as they feel like they could do, I think, you know? Okay, we're gonna skip. We don't want any of that. We're doing our whole luck crit thing. So we're at 300 out of 1,000. About one third of the way there. Um, range and attack speed. Getting hard though. This is. I don't know if all the enemies are harder as well. Ooh. No, just 12 luck. Screw it. Ah, damn. That's so. That's crazy. But 12, 12 luck and 12 crit. Anytime we have a chance to get a lot of luck, I think we should do it. Um, is this starting to? Excuse me. Offer us really good things. Um, no, I'll do more damage and range. Our crit's at 35 right now. Dang. Okay, uh, range and projectile speed. Sure. So now we're at 4.2 instead of 3. Okay, we had our ultimate. Um, luck. For luck. Anytime I see luck, I think we gotta take it. If that's what this build is gonna be. So I mean, I will. I so. The builds do feel different depending on your essences. Once we get be able to have more essences, I think that'll open things up a lot. Damage and more projectiles, that's huge. Already got another. Uh, just range. So I don't think we care about upgrading crit at all because I think it, uh, our crit value no longer matters. I think our crit value is just copying the luck value, so. Um, here I'll take the uh, health. 
should be a good ultimate. And we are at 500 out of 1,000. Um, okay, movement speed and health. That We'll get that. Uh, attack speed and more projectiles. Nice. Yeah. Uh, for luck, 100%. On their chests. Uh, we'll go, uh, damn. Actually, we'll go attack speed. I think our damage is very high. I think attack speed would actually be better. 1.2 projectiles. That's crazy. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit more movement speed. I do need more movement speed. This helps me get the chests faster. Um, projectiles gain additional damage the more time they travel. The problem is that ruins the whole build. So I, as much as I would love that, that would be really good if we could have two essences. But we cannot. And I'm getting close to getting hurt here, so... Ah! But, um, okay. I'm gonna risk it a little bit more because I don't, I, I don't want to have to take the health. I'm going to be a little sad if we fight the behemoth again, to be honest. Okay, for luck. Oh gosh, dude, yeah, we need, we need health now. For sure. Okay, 80 health and attack speed. Gladly taking that. Um, range and attack speed. That's a lot of attack speed, too. So we're at 750 out of 1,000. More projectiles. Um, more range. Yeah, we have a lot of range here. Luck, damage, and attack speed. Dude, our crit damage is insane. Six luck. Not taking anything. So it does feel bad to not have to take those, but once again, eventually we're going to be able to. That's right. How I guess a big part of the depth opens up. Uh, more .9 projectiles here. So we're at 900 out of 1,000. Uh, .6 projectiles. Um... I'll do luck. So, yeah, let's test this. Yeah. Yeah, so up. Oh, okay. So upping our crit does matter. So, okay. I was wrong about that. So taking crit will still help. Okay. Well, in that case, then, yeah, we'll take that. And we're about to fight the boss. Hopefully, it's not the behemoth. More luck. It's 71 crit. And I love that crit chance and crit damage. Okay. So boss time here. It is Behemoth. I wonder if we unlock more eventually. Because otherwise that would definitely be my one uh, one of the bigger pieces of feedback. Is, oh my gosh. Is to uh, get more boss variety here for sure. I think each area should definitely have its own boss. It, like, if not two bosses for each one, you know. is the flying meatball. And there we go. I love how you level up there. So we beat the ancient crypt. So now we've unlocked a new character. We've unlocked now in Intria. So cooldown's a little bit faster. It scales with attack speed just like the front guy. Launch a plasma beam that deals damage. The beam lasts indefinitely. And more than one beam can be active? Wait, what? What do you mean the beam can last indefinitely? What? So we can just have as many beams as we want? What? Excuse me? 
No way that's correct. Let's try that. Um, okay, so now we need to beat things on a higher difficulty, right? So that's that's the biggest thing of what we're trying to do here. So let's go back to Toxic Sewers. And we can choose what to upgrade. So either there's more elites, their abilities are faster, enemy damage scaling, enemy health. I uh, will say map hazards. I can deal with more map hazards. Okay, so difficulty one, still got to kill a thousand. Wait, oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't, I'm not the right character here. I want the new character. So we're 16% complete. Okay, yeah, give me that guy. There we go. That's what I want. So sewers. <coughs> map hazards. Okay, so let's see what this is like. So now we can actually get two essences at once. But I'm still, okay, what do you, what do you, what do you mean indefinitely? Oh! So it doesn't move around. Yo, wait, so can I just create like a... No, I... Does it mean that... I don't... I don't know what it could mean. I'm gonna try ultimate here though. Because the way it reads is we're allowed to have as many as we possibly want. So I'm gonna just try to create like a base right here. So now we have two. Are you telling me you're gonna allow me to have as many as I possibly want? Um, okay, we'll do crit. Because that's pretty cool. If that's what you're telling me, that is pretty cool. I just don't believe it. Just get people to walk through all this. Okay, moment of truth here. We're going to do attacks. That's huge for this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you could just have as many as you want. That's pretty fun. That's very fun. I'm not going to lie. That's a, that's pretty cool. That's, that's how you make it. Okay, 1.2. That's how you make a good roguelike, right? Is you make people feel broken. I do want to just create like a blender over here. I just want to create a blender over there. Get some movement speed here. Okay, we might just die though, so. We're going to definitely need some more health. Oh god, we're about to die though. And we're dead. It's the first time we died. Okay, let's try that again. And actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try it again here. One of them disappeared? Nah, maybe it was just overlapping. Okay, we get a little bit of the movement speed early on. Okay, we'll do luck early on. Explosions could be good with this. Oh wait, I don't know why I didn't use my ultimate. So there's one. Uh, let's get some health up early on. So people are telling me that they think we are limited on them. Because if there is a limit, it needs to say what that limit is, right? That's for sure. Okay, so here's the next part of the blender. That's a stronger guy. Uh, hang. I'm not really liking what we're getting offered right now. Okay, so let's see, right? So now we have three. Um... Yeah, I, I want to try to do this ultimate thing. Because this seems so cool to create a blender. Okay, here we go. We're going to test it now. Yeah, no, there's four. So we're allowed to have four. We'll do some max HP here. I don't know. Maybe it was a visual. Wait, no. Yeah, the one of them disappeared. So you can have a max of three. Well, I don't think the text should say you can have more than one. It's, it should say you can have three. Wait a minute. What if it depends on... Wait a minute. It might depend on the value of your ultimate. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? It might depend on that. That would make sense. Yeah, we still have full... I think it depends on the ultimate value. But well, then that's fine. 
That's fine. Never mind, I, I take everything back. Okay, ultimate and explosions. Yeah, I think we go ultimate and then we go explosions here. I just want to create a blender, dude. This is so cool. This is hilarious to me. I think we're limited there. We need to get more ultimate here. Ultimate and luck, sure. I just wish it was clear how many I'm allowed to have at any one time, you know? Uh, okay, we'll go some health here. Okay, so I can I can take two of these now. So each consecutive critical hit on the same enemy deals increased damage. No, the first hit at an enemy deals 250% damage. Yeah, we'll do that. So first hit we do on people should be doing a lot more damage. But maybe that's not good with our ult. I don't know. More ultimate stuff. Create more of a blender. I just want to create a blender in this little area. Oh my god, we took a lot of damage there. Uh, I guess crit. There's another chest that we want to be getting. Oh jeez. Oh my god. We are very low. Very low. It is, I don't know. This build isn't surprise. is surprisingly, or not so surprisingly good at, uh, you know, getting these projectiles. Okay. <sighs> Ah, uh, I want the magic. I gotta go the health though. I hate to do that. Okay, let's go back to our blender. Uh, damage and ex no, 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 attack speed, attack speed. Cause it said our thing scales with attack speed. Two, our ultimate skill. Oh, dude, I took so much damage there. Health and crit. Ah. Matt, almost three hundred. Oh my god. Dude, I need something that's gonna heal me. I need like an essence that's gonna heal me. Touching a wall gets the stuff. Get increased damage based on your movement speed. Gain up to a hunt. No. Spot was. Okay, so just more damage based on our movement speed. Uh. I guess. Movement speed. Okay, added more to the blender here. We are very low. I need to replace the first hit you deal with more, with more damage. I need, I need to replace that. Oh my gosh. Two and 20. Oh my gosh, man. Oh my God, dude. We're struggling here. Okay, 40 health because I need it. Hopefully we'll get a better essence here. Okay, each time an enemy dies, restore health. Or, ooh, no, gain 25 magic for every 100 health. No, we take that. So now I can just go health and we're gonna get so extra ultimate. Oh my gosh. I think it might have to be active, but that's crazy. Now I can just take health and not feel bad about it. Okay. It might have to be active health though. Health. So now we just, yeah, we just upped our freaking magic by 25. That makes for a good blender. Um, yeah, explosions. So now we just lost that. Nope, don't want any of this. Okay, we're almost at 500. Mm, whatever, attack speed helps our ultimate. So attack speed's very good because it helps scale our ultimate. We need health. Let's add to the blender. 40 health and two movement speed because movement speed was doing something else for us too, I think. 40 health and projectiles. So if we can get to 200, we'll have 20, we'll have even more magic. Oh my god, give me to my blender. Nobody can come to my blender. 40 health. Feels nice to be able to just take um, that 40 health. So we just gained another 25 ultimate charge. And then we lost it, but whatever. Okay, this is this is cool. 40 health, we're back up. 
Oh! <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is freaking cool. Uh, luck and, yep, yeah, all of that. Um, increased damage based on our movement speed. No, I like these. Dude, this is a blender. This is a blender. Though I don't know how good this is going to be against a boss, but whatever. Uh, um, attack speed. It's a lot of attack speed. Um, whatever, explosion. Oh my god, dude. We're allowed to have so many of them. Health and attack speed. If we get to 300, we're gonna have 25 more. Dude, this is so... Okay, okay. This game's got some legs to it. Movement speed to give us more damage as well. Took some damage there, that's fine. Um, whatever, damage. That wasn't great. Wanna get to 300 health. Uh, attack speed. Attack speed's crazy with these. So if I if I go under 200, we may struggle here, so I gotta be very careful here. There's a chest. So I like having this movement speed too. 60 health. Like it. Uh, nope. Okay, let's get back to my blender. We're back in the blender. We get three more health. We have 25 more. Uh, ultimate. So we're at 825. This is so fun! <laughs> Soy milk, holy light. Oh, and Isaac, it is like that. Um, attack speed. Come at me, y'all. Uh, attack speed and crit, sure. Come in my blender. I think the snakes are just trying to stand still. They're, they're preventing guys from going to my blender. Four magic, no, 1.8 attack speed. The attack speed is ridiculous. So we're at 891 here. Another chest. Snakes are preventing guys from walking in. Okay, let's go get the chest here. We took a lot, taking a lot of damage. Sit nice. Back to 297. Maybe we can get some health here. Whatever. Three movement speed. Just gotta kill 75 more. Continue on our blender journey. Dude, I hope the other crocodiles that you unlock have real cool abilities like this. 40 health. Hey, there we go, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Our, uh, now, now we're at 103 because we have 300. This is crazy. I don't care. Just gotta kill a couple more. This is absolutely insane. The snakes are preventing anyone from dying. Sure, crit and more ultimate. I can ultimate so often. Okay, here we go. Let's see how a boss fight with this works. It is the behemoth. Unfortunately. 
Oh, there's now elites as well. I come with it. Oh, if you're just gonna stay there, dude, you're screwed. If you're gonna stay in the blender, dude, you're screwed. Yeah, come get me, man. I'm gonna take a nice scroll it stroll in my uh my blender here. Let's go. Oh my gosh, so difficulty one beat the game at one difficulty, so we unlocked some stuff here. And so now we have toxic sewers too, right? So if we were to play again. We can go up and uh, we're gonna have to keep making the game harder. I like that you get to choose how to make the game harder. And so now if we look, right, so theoretically we're at 16 out of 66. So dude, it's got the replayability here, right? I just, I always talk about if you're, if you're an indie dev roguelike, do something like this. This, like, it just increases the replayability of your game so freaking much. Uh, and hey, uh, the, the she said, uh, thanks for following. Um, but yeah, like, so there's just, there's so much more for us to do, right? Beat, beat the, both the runes and the crypt at one difficulty, beat the game with a bunch of explosion, just to unlock a lot more, beat all of the maps with croaky, right? Uh, beat them on two difficulty, beat them on three difficulty. I'm just going to keep unlocking more characters, beat them on five difficulty. Um, and, uh, you know, there's some extra things going up to seven. Uh, eight, not seven, eight, and then ten, and nine, and then beat the game plus ten difficulty without suffering more than five hundred damage. Right? There's, there's a lot of cool stuff. I don't know what these achievements lead to. Maybe they lead to nothing or um, something. I don't know. But this is a game, right? Which let me, let me see, let me, let me see how uh, expensive this game is too. For four ninety nine, right? Four ninety nine is is very cheap for what I think the content in this game is um, one of the few times you're gonna hear me say honestly even though this was a sponsored video I would not be opposed to making more of this game especially if some of the characters right are as cool as uh, that character was I definitely think it's it's really cool got the the progression and stuff like that that keeps you wanting to play and stuff like that so yeah that is a uh, croco game um, you know big shout out for the developers uh, for sponsoring the video um, you know helping me get closer to uh, you know going full time I know we've had a lot of sponsors recently but they come in waves right there'll be like a month or two of no sponsors and then a bunch of them plus I only play games or sponsors that I think are going to be good, and this was definitely one of them. So uh, click the link in the description down below if you want to get the game or wishlist it. Um, you know, maybe if it goes on sale or something, but it's very cheap already. So definitely go get this game if it looks interesting to you. Uh, make sure you guys... Um also, subscribe, ring that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say, uh, to be notified. Uh, JoJo is saying goodbye here at the end. Goodbye! <laughs> uh, but if there is more Croco Game videos, uh, let me know. Uh, or, you know, if you want to see more, let me know. Uh, if there is more, they'll be on the screen. Uh, make sure you guys uh, subscribe. I think I already said all that good stuff. But the videos will be on the screen if there is some, or just all the other roguelike content. Uh, and if you guys are going to be grinding out some Croco Game on your own, then I wish you guys luck, and see you all next time.